This episode of MMA Notes is brought to you by Plunge. Easy to use, reliable cold plunges at affordable prices. Save $150 off with code MMA150. Liquid Web, one of the top hosting providers around. Save 33% off monthly VPS plans with code VPS33 off. Crowd Cow, the marketplace for high quality craft beef and meats from ranches around the world. Save $15 off your first box with code MMA15. NordVPN, get advanced security, internet freedom, and complete privacy. Save 73% off the two year plan plus four months free with code MMA Nuts. Defense Soap, everyday soaps for everybody. Use code MMA Nuts to save 15% off your order. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts episode 576. 576. My name is Ingo Weigel. Matt Griffith, MMA Show. Buy my fans for my fans. Walk the line between serious and ridiculous. Look at you, Red Solo Cup. We got, got my cup. Red Solo Cup. I have a little of this. Um, Proper 12? June Shine. Oh. What hard, is that? Hard, hard kombucha. Ah. That's the good stuff. Yeah, we're under a major construction here, so we're trying to keep. We don't have anywhere to wash things. So He's in a war just, zone. <laughs> we're using all paper, everything. Um. So. It's all you know. good, right? Yeah, it's all good. Speaking of good, how do you like the what is it, the House of Dragons or something like that? Oh, you want to start with that? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's see. Um, I gotta go. say, I'm loving the show. I'm interested to see where things are gonna go. I feel like they're setting it up. I have some predictions. We're going to so, spoil some shit. So if you haven't watched so, it yet, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Now's the time to close your ears. I think the dragons look fantastic. I'm excited to see where the storyline goes with this. Can I just say this? How about uh, about fucking time? They put a saddle on them. That bugged yes. me so much watching the other Game of Thrones. Like, why is there no fucking saddle? And then I don't, I don't think they could do it technically and make it look real. That's mm. I think that was part of the problem. Um. So uh yeah, they I like that Damon character. I think he's gonna be lots of trouble. He reminds me of uh 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 was it Ramsey? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. He has that same kind of weird crazy eye thing. Yeah. Um my prediction is the king will not last more than another episode or two. I think he's gonna die like very shortly. So. And how much time is going between each episode? It seems like it's six months, yeah, from one to two, and then uh, maybe a year from two to three because of what they showed in two that's happening like uh so I don't want to spoil too ma- much major but... battle coming up of some sort so yeah um, it's interesting but i'm yeah. digging it i i like that they did not use any of the um any actors we really know so it's like we're seeing these actors a lot of time for the probably the first time ever um so it feels like game of thrones i dare i say it's like i'm like back in season one of game of thrones and I'm like, okay, okay like this is cool i actually <laughs> sat down for the second show and watched it at eight o'clock like i'd sit down for the regular game of thrones back in the day like oh shit here it goes it's go time what's gonna happen you know? yes did you have trouble streaming it at all because i heard people were having trouble because it was apparently no because like I, I watched million- it yeah i watched it live on regular hbo the last time and then the first show i think i i I did stream that but i didn't have any issues with that but yeah it's a fuckload of people watching this it's got to be one of their top fucking shows ever it's probably eclipsed anything in the past but because think about if you have that game of thrones lead in to this and this is pretty fucking good blowing shit up because I don't even know what the top shows were besides it's probably Sopranos, Game of Thrones. And this is probably going to potentially surpass those if it hasn't, if it keeps up. I just wonder, like, do they have a idea on how many seasons they're going to do or how many episodes? That's what I don't know. I bet like, you it's pending. There... I'm, I'm guessing we're at least going to get another season. I don't know how many seasons they signed up for, but it just all depends on demand. So. Yep. And then Amazon's starting their Lord of the Rings thing at the beginning of September, whatever that is. I'll probably watch that too. Oh, nice. Okay. It's nice to have multiple things. It's always tough, though. I, sometimes I just like being face-fucked with the content where you can just digest like 10 shows in a row if you have the time. Yeah. 
I have mixed feelings about that because I feel like it gets me in trouble. Then I'm that's those are the times I'm up till like three in the morning. Okay, yeah. what, one more episode, and I'm like, oh <laughs> fuck, I gotta get up at like five. This is right. bad. So I don't mind like not having to do that. So. Sure. Well, that's but, what I did with the the when I rewatched Game of Thrones. I was like, I wanted to power through them all so I could be up to date on what happened and then come back into this. So I had a little remembering of what happened. It'd, it'd be cool if they had a feature for some of these major series when there's a new season out mm-hmm. where it like it's like like uh, we have uh, YouTube TV and on there, like when you watch a game, for example, like if you're going to watch the White Sox and it's like the seventh inning and you're like, yeah, I kind of would like to see what the hell what happened. They call mm-hmm. them key, key plays and you hit that and then it takes you through all the key plays in the course of like five or six minutes of everything that happened. I know that they do recaps right for each, but I, I, I think it'd be cool if you got to see like the whole scene. So maybe a, an hour show becomes 15 minutes, right? And you can see like the, because there's filler, right? That's kind yeah. of not super important. Sure. Versus like a two minute clip. Maybe I'd like to see 15, you know, so that'd be cool if they implemented this for like big shows like this. I'm oh, in. Um, so HBO, call, you know. You make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> I am now licensing this to you. So you can send me payment later. So. That's right. Um. Talk some MMAs. I mean, we can. I don't even know where to start. Well, I, I was just want to say, like last week, I'm getting so used to the UFC being on every weekend. I thought this past weekend was supposed to be the Gon versus Tiavasa fight, but uh, it's actually this weekend. Uh, this weekend, uh, I didn't know they were off. So anyway, which is which is unusual because they're usually not off, right? right. So, um, and then uh, we have. UFC 279 happening in September, right? So, um, is that the Diaz Shamayev and then yeah. the rest of the card is dog shit, right? So, but let me start. We'll we'll get back to Diaz in a second. Yeah. Let me just say, I just found out that Clay Guida booked his 60th professional fight against Scott Holtzman, uh, which is happening on December 3rd uh, UFC event. 60 professional fights. Guida is 37 and 22 in his professional career. I mean, that is a lot of fights. Yeah, it is. And like, how many times has his brother slapped the shit out of him before the fight? And then he's sitting there going Bleh! between rounds and fucking hairball right. and sweating all over you and craziness. And yeah, the amount of CTE, I think I'm getting CTE right now. Think about how many fights he's had. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is. So is it worth it at this point? I don't know. I don't know. He has all the cardio in the world, though. So whatever. Yeah, I mean, that works sometimes, but you need the skill to back it up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But Um, we're just talking about gone, right? And I want to show you some of his punching power. So he's letting somebody... Or he is punching somebody in the gut here. Uh, we want some sound, but probably not a lot of sound. So, do you have sound? Let's go. I do. Okay. Oh, Jesus. This is like a goddamn gunshot. Let's hear it again. Let's go. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Fuck. That poor little guy. Couldn't do you think you could pick... take that? Could you take no, that? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Are you crazy? No, I am I, crazy. But I would, I would never, I would never take that shot in a million years. I would jump out of the way. <laughs> <I'd be> like, <laughs> There's so much power there. Sorry, you missed me. So oh sad. my god! And he's wearing like the body protector, and it still fucking dropped him. Right, and he looked like a professional fighter, and he was preparing himself for the impact. And he knew it was coming, and it yes. wasn't even like a liver shot. It was just a straight shot to the body, right hand. Ah, oh, that that's fucking that's crazy. So, he's fighting. <laughs> he is this weekend. Yeah yeah uh we talked about diaz earlier so here's yeah. did you did you see him uh getting drug tested by usada yeah play this I mean, whole thing here, this is here we go. great should have some sound yeah. there he is uh getting drug like, tested he's man, a sad guy who's trying to run away he's all like this man won't get out of my house because i didn't give him enough piss <laughs> i'm pissed all i can my nigga <laughs> oh my god he's high as hell i know he's smoking the biggest joint I mean, 
I got two more liters of piss I got to give. What? He won't get out a of two here, liter so. of piss? That's not right. <laughs> it probably you means two guy, ounces. You thought I could fucking suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in six hours. I'll give you two more. Two more what? Liters? Milliliters? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't even know what's happening right now. No. He's like, no, I can't. It's be. like, stop filming me. <laughs> <laughs> Two liters. That is a lot. Oh my god. He's passing a joint around. Peace. My God, he's That's a wild, great. He's a wild man. You know, I gotta say, I yeah. love the UFC era where that is okay. You can just go ahead and do that whenever you want to. Right. Remember when that was a five year or a lifetime ban? It's kind of ironic his because his brother was like banned for for decades for <laughs> the, the, something much less than that. Here he is, like, yeah. you know, while they're testing him smoking, which is crazy. Obviously, <laughs> and that other guy is getting high as fuck too because you can't just is. be around someone smoking a ass ton of weed in the room and waiting around for hours and not get a fucking contact high. Right. So good for him. Uh-huh. Uh, I saw Demetrius Johnson had a nice KO over the weekend. He did we'll play that one here. A little bit of sound, maybe, yes. or not. Uh, do you know what this reminded me of? Watching that, I already know. BJ Penn, Sean Shirt. You got damn right. Yeah, it looked pretty damn similar. That was that was the fight, the MMA event that I think I watched the first time at your house. I was yeah. like, oh my god, can they do that? Like, yeah, they can do <laughs> that. Like, they can do that. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, I think I was just re. I was looking up like where is Sean Shirk now? And I was just reading the backstory on that, and I forget. I think it was the fight before that fight where he had tested positive for steroids, Sean Shirk, and then the California state athletic commission suspended him for a year. And then he got it reduced to six months and they stripped him for the title. And then that's when he fought BJ Penn for the title and then fucking took that knee. <laughs> and uh, that's uh that was fucking brutal, a brutal fucking knee. So, mm-hmm. Well, you know, it's interesting. I don't know if you looked at like the the lead up to this Johnson fight. There was a little bit of controversy because these guys fought um, uh, uh, in Singapore, right? And they had to um, pass a hydration test in order to be able to weigh in. Yeah. Um, and so there's a requirement there where you have to have a urine um, gravity uh, value of one point zero two five or lower which basically means like how much water is in like how you know like you get up in the morning your piss is like super bright yellow right versus later in the day if you drank a lot of water like it's more clear like they so they're testing to see like how dehydrated are you Mm -hmm. and mariah's initially came in over that limit and he was given some extra time to kind of like rehydrate a little Mm -hmm. bit in order to pass and he did but I think this is interesting. I don't know how long they've been doing this over there, but I, I wonder if this is something that's going to get adapted, you know, to the U. I know California has some similar kind of like rules in place uh, that are, they're not looking at this value, but they're looking at more like, you know, weigh in, weight, total weight, yeah. total weight and stuff. So it's interesting. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm real curious to see, you know, like I would love to see some stats on, you know, total weigh ins with these kind of numbers and see if, you know, what are fighters actually doing, you know, and how many are, having problems with this yeah because remember they they also outlawed or banned the ivs when guys were trying to rehydrate like why the fuck would you take that tool away from them you know everyone's cutting Mm -hmm. an obscene amount of weight and you can see it in the in the when they actually do the fight day weigh in or whatever it is like one i think you're saying california weigh in people but it's it just seems like the UFC is so set in their ways. Like I don't see them leading the way in fucking anything anymore. Cause we've talked about that for years. We've talked about new weight classes for years, new gloves for years, new rules for years. It's just, they don't, I don't want to say they don't give a fuck, but they're not mm-hmm. fucking innovating in the sport at all, at no, all. It's no, just like, not. here it is. Here's the fucking product. Take it. And get rid of your older, experienced, expensive guys and 
I think their new strategy, it seems like they're trying to sign as many of the guys that they can from like the Tuesday night fights that they're doing and then get all those guys in on the fucking cheap, shitty, whatever the contract is. I think it, I think you're starting on a 12 and 12 now, like super low. So you can just feed as many cards as you can. It's all about quantity right now. And we're losing all the superstars, unfortunately. I don't, you know. Who, who are your superstars that are still fighting and won't be gone in one more fight? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. I was like, Conor McGregor, John Jones. Nope. No. Just they, they uh, kinda, uh, and they kind of uh, hide the sales now. You don't really hear them saying, oh, we did X amount of pay-per-views. Yeah. I never fucking hear those numbers anymore. You don't. You, uh, you're right. And um, I don't know. You know, one thing, though, about Johnson, he, according to MMA uh, um, fighting, he's now, again, ranked the number one uh, flyweight in the world after this victory. Um, do you think that that makes sense? Even though he's not in the UFC? I, I don't know, because I hate that fucking weight class. <laughs> so. Well, you have, like, number two, you have DeVason Figueredo. Number yeah. three is Brandon Moreno, Adrian Marias. Um, these guys are all like tiny. It's, it's, I don't know. It's an interesting thing, but mighty mouse, you know, making a case for, you know, possibly saying like, Hey, I'm the best flyweight ever. Maybe. Okay. Maybe <laughs> you can have it. I, I yeah. just don't care. I mean, cause typically you wouldn't see people getting finished. That was always my problem with well, those smaller weights. Yeah. I, I will say this and a you big recall- fucking cage. That's always a problem too. Oh, agreed. But remember when we were in, when they came to Chicago and we watched this guy work out, and it was like, holy fast shit! As fuck, I'm like, those little guys. I can't <laughs> even see those punches. Like he's got sure. four punches off before I blink, and I'm like, what just happened? I mean, you know, so pretty wild how quick mm-hmm. these guys are. I would say, yeah. I'll, I'll even like while we're on the topic of speed, John Dodson is still fighting, and he was in bare knuckle fighting championship over the weekend. And I'll show you, we talk about speed from a little guy, like fucking watch this shit. Coming forward. It's like, damn, that's brutal. And then they let this guy continue. (laughs) He's like all bloodied. Like, come on, get back in the game. Yeah, I'm good. The corner's got to throw that towel in, man. Yeah, right there, right? That's it. You got to throw it in. He's not even standing up straight. No. Got to throw in the towel. Yeah. And that's that. So, I didn't. The crazy thing is, I didn't know John Dodson was still fighting. I did not either. (laughs) The things you learn. But I think that's where a lot of the fighters keep going, right? Bare knuckle. Yeah. Apparently, they pay pretty well. Yeah, uh, you were talking about the contender series. Did you watch yes. it from this week? No. There, there was a um, Darius Flowers uh, in that contender series just got himself a UFC contract by finishing his fight via pile driver. The, is this the sixty nine finish? <laughs> yeah. So check this out. I did see Maybe this. Sure I don't have any volume. Yeah, you here. got it. So here we go. So, you know, he's just like, bam, yeah. eat, eat that. Eat my right? cock. Eat it. Cock to the chin. He's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, wait, something's no. not right. <laughs> Something ain't right. I'm hurt. I'm not feeling good anymore. So sad. Um, That looked painful. Very painful. Speaking of painful or not talk about, painful. I want to talk about our non-painful sponsors. That's right. Da, 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 da. Thank you, fellas. Uh, fantasy football draft season is right around the corner. CD Lamb is good, but have you seen these? Uh, they say beautiful balls, but I gotta say these nuts. Okay, it's time to get your snake looking right for this snake draft with the sponsor of today's show, Manscaped, the leader in below the waist grooming. Have created a championship lineup. With their performance package 4.0, you can join the 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. And get ready for kickoff by going to manscaped.com slash MMA nuts for 20% off plus free shippings. 
Slide it at quarterback. We have the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. This spaceship is here to guide you on a journey to trim your body, balls, and even your A gap. I still don't know what that is. I don't know, but it sounds <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the performance package 4.0 also includes the weed whacker, the ultimate flex watcher run through your ear and nose hairs like Derrick Henry coming up the gut. Uh, can he be up my A gap? It's also waterproof, just to say, you know, okay, so if you fantastic. got like a lot of, say like got some, some, some drainage happening from fall allergies, don't worry. Weed Whacker's got you under control. You can get it all snotty. No problem. Just rinse it out. That's right. Be good. They'll make it happen. And you can get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. It's time to put the PP in the, Back in the PPR and get a grip on your pig skin this season with a manscaped. Very yes, sir. With all this lingo. It's confusing. It's but very confusing. Did you see mm -hmm. Cage Titans 55 over the weekend had a crazy finish? I think I saw. I thought I saw things. I heard. It was stuff. nasty. Kyle Pavel snaps Wayne Downer's Put arm. Put some sound on. You so want me I can to put hear the, it snap like hear, a fucking it, it, stick a, of celery. I don't want to. I don't want to get us in trouble. Come on. You yeah, good? Right. yeah okay. fuck yeah. Hold on, let me. Uh, I, I took the sound off purposely. Hold on. Oh. Here we go. No, I want to hear that fucking snap, and then you can turn the sound off after I hear that sweet okay. snap. I want to hear that sweet snap. Okay, got some volume. Here we go. Oh, he's in a full crucifix. Wow, America! Oh, oh, thank you. Oh. Oh my god, right in front of my eyes. I've never seen that before. It's, it's pretty, fucking crazy. It's pretty nasty, man. It's pretty nasty. Finish. <laughs> Is um, it wrong if I'm hard as a rock? Do you want to see, <laughs> would you like to see that in slow motion? I, sure, I why not? I'm I okay. Forgot, I forgot they have it in I've slow I've seen motion. things, Ingo. I'm not afraid of broken bones. I mean, I think you got a tap. He did tap, I think. Oh, ouch. He was trying, but he missed. Yeah. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yeah, these things happen at <laughs> me. Fuck, man. I don't know. It sucks to Can't wipe my ass anymore, but hey. No. Well, it was his left arm, so maybe he'll be okay. Yeah, you got to be ambidextrous. Sometimes you got to jerk off with the right. Sometimes you got to jerk off with the left. Sometimes I'm just saying. Cold. Yeah, it depends, right? Sometimes you fucking playing that game. I don't know what it was with the baseball bat as a kid where everyone's pulling up on it, trying to see who gets to the top and then gets the cap. That's how I play with my cock. Speaking of which, did you see Robert Whitaker is thinking about moving up to light heavyweights to finish out his career? I read about this. And how uh, do you think he'll fare? Uh, poorly. Up. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if his style translates well for a move because he's one of those guys. What is he? What is your favorite term for him? Starts with a J. The journeyman. Thank you. <laughs> People are always getting so pissed off <laughs> whenever you say that. He's a goddamn journeyman, all right? Uh, yeah, he was a champion or something. But moving up 20 pounds of fucking weight class, it doesn't really – like, look at Adesanya, okay? Fucking champ versus champ moving up to 205. You got fucking handled trying that shit. And especially later in your career. And it's not like he had a lot of power. Like if he was like, uh, I don't know, say like if Chuck Liddell was down at 185 and moving up to 205, but still had a chin, I'd say he'd be all right doing that. But again, Whitaker, he's like, he's, he's good at everything, but he's not great at anything. No. And that 20 pounds moving up, I, don't, I just don't see how he's, he'll be successful there. Yeah. And hence the journeyman title. Right. I think it's warranted. So uh, I think we're both in agreement then, right? I don't think he's going to have I don't success. Think it's good for him, no, I don't think so. You get fucking manhandled. I yep. agree. And then, go ahead. Give uh, something uh, else. Yeah. yeah. So there's a, an event, another one. It seems like there's a lot of shit happening over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So, um, Ahmed Abdelaziz finishing this fight via slam. I don't know if you saw this at all. I'm always careful not to put the volume, but he's, you know, things are going well. Mm -hmm. This is one of those times where, you know, you got to know when to let go, right? It's like, sometimes you got to let that shit go. A couple slams. He's like, I'm good. I'm good. Well, he's, and then, he's trying to base his arm out too. It was just yeah, a problem. That's how you break good. your arm. 
but then bam face first on oh, the chin face fucked and, and, I, that's and I don't like this mat I'm just gonna say this too because you see all like the wrinkles and how loose it is it's yeah. not a tight mat it's like a cover over a mat and it's slipping and yeah that guy got fucked up right on the chin man you can't get slammed on your chin so yeah it's usually not good <laughs> and then i saw this i i didn't know people actually did this so there's this other organization called fame and they put a cage inside of a cage and go play pen fame, yeah play pen. so this is this is funny because this is what i always wanted the ufc to do i thought the cage should scale based on the weight class of the fighter. So obviously the smallest guys should have the smallest cage. Biggest guys should have a biggest cage. And then the cage should shrink based on lack of action. So if these guys are fucking dancing around, if you have that, what was it? The Caleb Starnes and Nate Quarry fight where he's fucking Starnes is running away and Quarry's fucking rock hammering after him. Thank you. Then the cage just starts going e. <laughs> and then the spikes come out <laughs> yes and, and two men under one man leaves and snakes fuck yeah that's Rag how we track the action <laughs> fuck yeah fire brimstone people witches are casting spells i like yeah. this shit fucking eyeballs and toads and fucking mices 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 mice. what's the color of mice i think it's still it's mice. just mice <laughs> I did fucking speaking of those, I did kill a whole bunch of them in my garden and I did save a fucking chipmunk because I put all those I have the, like sticky tape traps that I put in my garden because these yeah. cunt fucking mice keep getting in there. And I was walking in there today and there's a fucking mouse running around my garden. I'm like, you fucking cunt, get out of my garden. But anyway, so I got a chipmunk accidentally stuck in one of those traps. And I'm like, oh no, should I just put gloves on and grab them? But I was surprised at how big the chipmunks were. They're not squirrel size, but they're they're bigger than I thought because usually they run away before you get up to them. And this okay. guy was just stuck. And unfortunately, like his back leg was pinned, stuck down to the fucking pad and his tail was stuck down. So I had to get out there and put a shovel down on one side of the pad, put another shovel out so he could grab that shovel. And then I wet the whole pad down. And then I took the pooper scooper that I have that's got like fingers like this. And then like tried to, I scraped them off and got them out and set them free. So I almost killed him, but then I set him free. So I did my good deed because I don't think you, you should kill. You pardoned him. Yeah, I don't think you should kill chipmunks. All fucking mice must fucking die. But I'll allow the chipmunks to live. Okay, because they're cuter. Yeah, they don't. I've got no no quarrels with them. Uh, my issue is just with the mice. They're cunts. They eat all my fucking goods, all my wares, all my cucumbers have been eaten, all my zucchini, all my pumpkins. I'm having it's a big war this year. So I put out like a squirrel feeder too, and today. I fucking saw a squirrel slide down my slide head first in my backyard on the park because he got done eating and then he jumped on the slide and was like, oh, fuck. I'm like, nice. I've been waiting mm -hmm. all year for this. I didn't get video, unfortunately, because my daughters love or like my youngest daughter loves all the fucking wildlife that's going on in the backyard. I got bird feeders, the squirrel feeder, the chipmunks will jump up my play set to get to the fucking feeder. It's a whole fucking orgy of animals out there. Nice. And I'm just fattening them up so my dog can kill more. <laughs> Potentially. I, anyway. just got, I just got a notification from HBO. Yes. The new Game of Thrones has been renewed for season two officially. So See? at least one more. They, they hear the good things we're talking about. They're going to give you that 15 minute show before you know it of all the highlights. It's gonna be all tits and ass. That was the other thing that was uncomfortable is the ages of the actors or actresses. I, I'm going, hmm, I don't know if we want to see these ladies naked because I'm not sure of the ages, but they're all of age. So at least the main actresses. I think that one is 22 and the other one's 18. Oh, geez. Yeah. yeah. But okay. I thought she was like, I thought the main like, uh, princess i thought she, like in real life i would have guessed 16 
and she's actually 22. So, okay. All right. Just well, putting it out there. Dude, what's is it is it considered bad because if it's the well if it's she's 16 on the show but in real life she's much older then that's okay right i mean I don't know. yes okay because <laughs> <laughs> well, i just feel like the the way they go like everybody's gonna get naked at some point and i just i don't want to feel weird about it you know i need to know ages it still feels weird because i'm like that still seems too young to be getting naked but anyway yeah no i agree side topic uh have you seen this move in mma before i make sure there's no volume but so uh, check that Bay? out oh yeah i have definitely seen that move i, I don't remember seeing that well i don't know about an mma but i should say when i was doing jujitsu that was yeah. that was i definitely learned that that's sure. Like Takedown. I don't know if I've seen anyone actually successfully because it's easier with the gi. You can grab the pants or whatever. But pretty impressive. Was that Dustin Poirier? I, I no, I think it was someone else because it just happened recently. Okay. I don't remember who the fighters were, but I saw that. I'm like, oh, that's fucking dope. Because usually on the ground you're just trying to up kick or just get back to your feet. But then that one you're actually reversing position on yeah. by grabbing his like sweeping his legs out pretty much mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. sweep the leg fuck yeah and then i'm gonna play this clip i didn't know shit talking is going to different levels so let me share this with you it's kind of interesting <laughs> so <laughs> the dog is he like, says what? after i knock you out i'm gonna fuck you dog and then they show his dog and the dog's like what i did not subscribe to this <laughs> this is fucking bullshit man uh, this is bullshit trying to make his dog his bitch I, I don't know how i feel about this do i like it maybe i like this kind of shit talk i feel like it's conor mcgregor-esque in his uh fucking approach Speaking of him, what the fuck is going on with him, Ingo? With who? Conor McGregor. Uh, I don't did know. You see that video be, he posted? Supposed to be making a movie. I did not see the video. I saw a picture of him looking like. Yeah, he posted a video. No, no, I didn't see this. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. He's getting a fucking knobber on his boat. <laughs> is that his wife that he's? Doing I that? would hope so. But, but who knows with that guy that just seems kind of like it's it's not classy no, i i expect more from this guy not just like hey look at me on my boat getting a fucking knobber up here like ah, ah, ah. Mm -hmm. but is this his movie career now like fucking getting knobbers i don't know i guess seems very I did, awkward i did not see that yeah so speaking of being in your bed, I want to talk about another sponsor, Nectar Sleep. So I just recently got a mattress from them because my back has been hurting. My shoulder has been hurting. I keep waking up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. and I figured, well, I do sleep on a futon mattress, so that's probably not a good idea. And let's try a legitimate mattress. So I got this mattress. I'm like, I'm fucking sleeping through the middle or the entire night now. I'm not waking up in the middle of the night and I'm getting, and it's, I don't know what it is. It's super soft to me and I'm not super hot. And that's always a problem when you get a mattress. Like, am I going to be hot? Am I not? I'm like, nice temperature, nice, smooth nights of sleep. You heard me right. And they have a nice coupon I can share with everyone. You can get $200 off any mattress plus free shipping, you get free sheets, mattress protector, and pillows with code GWFIT. Cha ching Bang, bang, bang. You're the big yep. winner. Sometimes. Chicken, chicken dinner. Yep. What else is happening out there? Uh, I have one more clip. This is from Boxing. Richard Torres and Mark Antonio Canedo had a fight over the weekend. That might be KO of the week. It could be. I, I did not go so well for one of the gentlemen's. So I will just say this. Did Ben Askren win? 
I'm not going to share the sound, <laughs> but here we yes. go. This is KO of the week. It's like, good night. Good night, sweetheart. Uh, it's nighty night time. This guy like looks Ben like Askren, it. knocking people out. He's got freaking, I like the mustache. I know. See, we'll see you one uh, more time. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I have a comment I got. I want to make, but I don't think I can say this one anymore. <laughs> yeah, I probably, I got to put that one in my back pocket. He beat him into a living death? No. I'll fucking edit it out. I, but I already know did that guy have say. fucking? Uh, yeah, learned. I'll fucking edit that one right out. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I had to say it because he looked like it. Did you see this kangaroo fight over the weekend? No. When the kangaroos? I'm gonna have to say no. Do I have sound? Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's legal, man. Oh, man. That's He's fucking like, bullshit. Like, <laughs> the guy's like, that's right, bitch. Come get some. Yeah, like, it's yours. He's like, <laughs> he just saw, like, you want more of this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better stay oh, down. Oh, fuck, man. That's Tony. brutal. That's uh, tough, man. I don't know what's happening. There's that. Uh, I saw Hezbollah and Shaq get into it a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot all about that. And Hezbollah is a cheap shot motherfucker. Nice music. Oh, you love sucker punching people. Are you okay? I like to see Shaq just pick him up and launch him like, off the boat. Roll him right off the boat. That'd be like, amazing. motherfucker, uh, enough sucker punching. I can't, can't celebrate this. No. And then I don't know what this fight league is. I saw this extremely strange finish to a fight, and I, I don't know if this is legal or not, so I'll play this and potentially with sound. So this is saying hooligans.cz. So one guy is on top of the other, and he starts fucking eye gouging him here and fish choking him. He's tapping to an eye gouge. That's crazy. So is that legal? Like, look at that. I don't know. He's finger banging his eye socket. Seems like it shouldn't be legal. That's just no. terrible. No. Ouch. Yep. And I, I saw this might be a fight celebration of the year. I'll play that one for you. Probably can't do sound. It's boxing. You guys getting after it. And I'm going to do my best. Patented backflip to face fucking plant ouch yeah surprised he didn't knock himself he out. didn't get enough air there and then <laughs> eh, this guy is why is jeff Nowitzki in my way tell him to get the fuck out of the fucking screen Ugh. we you do you showed ko of the week you showed sub of the week with the fucking broken arm let's do a little tweet of the week got any page <laughs> and sand updates um, I'm going to have something. You know me. Of course. You know me, Vern. Uh, this is KP. This is at K Peterson UFC on the fucking Twitter. Is this how you train for Francis Ngannou? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is going on? I don't know, Ingo. Is this like the boxing box? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you're supposed to wear it, but hey. <laughs> okay. Your dicks in your ass is bad for your health. Is that what they say? Yeah, I like it. So speaking <laughs> of beautiful women, like you were just asking for. So here's a crazy one. So I was just talking to my wife. I was watching a poker tournament the other day, and Jennifer Tilly likes to play poker. Oh. And I was like, God damn, she like her tits are like pouring out on the table. And I had to look her up. She's fucking 62 years old. Yeah, she's up there. And she's in the Chucky fucking movie or series. I don't know. She posted this picture. Like, that is what a 62-year-old woman looks like. I'm like, oh, my God. She is fucking hot as shit for 62. And doesn't look like she had a ton of work done, but I don't see wrinkles. I know she's probably heavily made up, but phenomenal. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. Phenomenal. I'm I down. Like She's a lot older, but I can be down with a grandma. Mm -hmm. Gilf, maybe? I don't know if she had children or not. 
Give me knowledge. Well, we talked about Game of Thrones. That's about all that. Yeah. No, not really. Other than that. Do you? Yeah, I keep looking for it. Like I talked about, you know, the funny thing was the other day when I was talking about that Goat Simulator 3 and I played their, um, what was it, the trailer for the game on the show? They fucking copyrighted us for the fucking, <laughs> for the song in there. I don't know if they were from Sweden, but there was some song from some other country that was in that video. And then they claimed copyright on us and tried to take all our monies that I don't put ads on. Huh. So I'm like, okay. But I saw this. I don't know. Post this while we're talking about stuff. This person said, everything is a dildo if you're brave enough. The woman holding like a fucking mortar. And then someone down there says, there once was a lady named Jill. We tried a dynamite <laughs> stick for a thrill. They found her vagina in North Carolina and bits of her tits in Brazil. So I don't know what that's uh, about. But... That's amazing. Oh, so I was talking about that uh, Goat Simulator 3, the thing I forgot to mention. So that one's coming out like November 17th. And typical price on all these video games is like 60 for the base model. And then whatever it is 80 or 100 for like the upgraded game uh gold simulator 3 30 bucks like ah fucking, i bought it i'm waiting I'm waiting you don't typically see new games for half price right no, that's and i get a lot sad. of entertainment because i stopped playing video games because there's nothing to fucking play it's very frustrating right now i need I some games I don't know what to do. I'm watching more TV and more movies. Maybe that's why I'm smoking too much fucking weed because there's no games to play. And mm-hmm. Halo, I saw Halo still doesn't have fucking co-op campaign okay. yet. Two Is years it later. fucking year late? <laughs> that's the fucking point of the game. Co-op, co-op campaign. That's supposed to, like I'd play that. I think I resold the. Uh, I think I returned it. <laughs> I think I'd did. buy it again. <laughs> <laughs> send it back it's defective it always is and amazon <laughs> is the best they're just like whatever yes i forgot what i returned something for my wife she bought something and i, I returned it and i'm like it's not ninja enough because she bought some kind of fucking black outfit and it had like a black belt on it i'm like what are you a fucking ninja right now I'm like oh can't wear this can't wear this <laughs> and i had like poofy shoulders there's like, like an approval a process fucking par- yeah i'm like what are you a pirate ninja it's just like stop she's getting all upset i'm like it's fucking returned okay you can wear the other ninja outfit but you got to do some fucking ninja shit if you're gonna wear that okay that's what it's all about that's it shut down that has been this week's edition of Emily notes my name's Engel weigel thanks for playing